Hi there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna be showing you how you can take particles and how you can make those live particles editable. They'll stay live, but it means that they'll be seen as vertices. This means that we can use X particles in things like Cinema 4D fields and deformers for some pretty interesting effects. So let's start up Cinema and we'll get cracking. In our scene then we have an emitter and a sphere and the particles are just going straight through it. So let's get them going around the surface. We'll go to modifiers, it's an X particles one this, motion modifiers, XP follow surface. This requires some geometry, um, so let's drag in our sphere, leave it on default, we'll just make that sphere invisible and yep look the particles are going round. So now we want the particles to interact with each other, so let's do a fluid solve. Now we can mix in a GPU Nexus solve with this CPU one, that's fine. Let's go to Nexus, we'll bring in an NX Fluids, change it to SPH, and we'll add one more sub-step. So now these are going to be behaving like fluid. Yep, great, we're losing a few particles actually, which we'll fix in a sec. We're going to add a little bit more energy into the scene though, so let's go to Nexus, let's bring in an NX turbulence and we're going to use a Voronoi's type we're going to put the strength whack it right up and then have loads of scale we want this to be quite frenetic and large scale noise so we're going to get really nice noise movement but look we've lost loads of particles so let's fix that the reason they've gone is if we go to follow surface they're only being attracted to the surface when they're within 10 centimeters so what we're going to do is put this on say 200 and this emitter is already within 200 centimeters, so as soon as they're born, they're going to be attracted to the surface, uh, surface straight away. So let's hit play, and yeah, that's good. We've lost a couple though, so what we can do is just increase this pull amount. Let's put it on full, and they're almost going to get snapped to that surface as soon as they're born. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. So we can just arrest this movement slightly now by going to our follow surface and adding a little bit of surface friction. That's just going to calm it down a bit, maybe a little bit more. That's looking good. Right, so now we've got these points. What we can do is use these particles as points, as kind of floating vertices, to drive fields. So the way we do that is we go to the XP emitter, editing tab. Now by default, this is switched off. But if we switch it on, we can go to the point mode and look, every particle is a selectable point. So now that that's in point mode, they'll be recognized in fields as points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sphere and we're gonna copy it. And let's make this one visible. And this one we're gonna make quite high poly. Let's put this on say 350 segments. Let's hit NB to see the lines. So loads of geometry there. And let's go to our material manager. Look, we've got a little reflective material here that we can put on that sphere. Let's hit NA to hide the lines. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use these points to deform this sphere. So let's go to our uh, deformers. We'll bring in a displacer. Let's put it as a child of that sphere. Now the displacer, normally you might look, go to the shading mode, add a noise, and that noise shader is uh, displacing the vertices of the geometry, um, and that's that. But we're not going to do that. We're going to, instead of a noise, we're going to put a color and have it on white, and white means that every vertex is being displaced by, if we go to the object tab, this amount, 10 centimeters. But we can then drive this effect using fields. So this is the cool bit. If we go to fields, drag in our emitter, which is now editable points, and now look, everywhere where there is a particle, it is displacing that sphere. So that's working for us. We can make this look even cooler by now adding some effects in this field hierarchy. So if we now go to our effects list and bring in a delay layer, let's leave it on the default smooth, maybe just reduce it down a bit, now if we hit play, look at the difference. We're getting this, it's starting to become this really kind of organic looking motion. If we go to our XP emitter, we can reduce the radius of those points to make it more kind of detailed around each particle. And we're starting to get that look that we're after. Let's make our particles invisible. 
So now that we have got that, that's looking pretty cool. Let's just exaggerate it a bit though. We'll go to our Displacer Object tab and increase the height to maybe 30 centimeters. Very nice. Let's go back to our Displacer Fields and in our Delay, we could maybe increase that smoothing a bit. Yep, that's looking good. And we could add more should we wish. Let's just leave it at that now, but you can layer up these delays with different modes. What we want to do is just smoothen this out a little bit. We could do that by adding another um, deformer. Let's highlight the sphere, hold shift, go to our deformers, and we'll bring in a smoothing. We're going to put the smoothing underneath the displacer because we want that to happen second. Let's go to our object tab. And we could probably do with just increasing that stiffness a bit. Let's hit play. And now we're getting something that's looking pretty organic um, based on our particle simulation. And obviously these particles are still live, so we could bring in further modifiers to change their motion, should we wish, for different looks. But that's how we can take particles, make them into editable points, and then use them within deformers and fields.